Hey everybody, we're doing a little brake light uh, options here for this Rambler. I've, uh, I've replaced the wood in the back so that it had some surface area and we're going to gut sheet metal it completely over. Um, up here on the top we are starting to do the testing of the lights and I get these here from a, a guy down in Springfield, Missouri. Um, I'll put a link down at the bottom of the video. And these I get from Alibaba, from AliExpress. And I'll also do the same. These here are impressive. They're kind of bus lights. They're huge, but you have to mount them a certain way, so be careful looking at them. Make sure your lettering is like this one, the lettering down there at the bottom, because they are focused a little downward, and they're, that way you can put them at a slight angle. So if, uh, if I was mounting them at this angle, which is a little bit of an angle, they would still be fine. Now, we're not going to use these on this trailer, even though they'd look nice. They're really expensive. Um, about $25 for a set, including shipping. But I have them on my other Rambler. You can look at an old video about a year and a half ago, and they are beautiful. They come out great. Now, these. These are made for a trailer, and they're made to be mounted like this. And, of course, we're not going to do that. So I'm taking and drilling out the rivets. You want to remove your light fixture assembly um, for all your LEDs, and you're going to use a quarter inch bit and drill these out. And then I will add two more holes here, and then we'll just have the flat plate. I will caulk seal that because I don't trust them that much um, as far as uh, waterproof. And then we're going to mount them here and here, actually like that uh, right now we just have all the wiring completely hacked and a battery for testing and we are adding lights that it never had so it had a lower red light but it never had an upper red light for tail marker um, sometimes you might have a vehicle that's parked near you that's as high as your trailer and somebody's not going to see it as well as if you have one up high and we're also adding ambers there and there so there'll be additional that it never had also. So I, I, I just do this because I don't want the trailer to be hit. Um, it's gonna have a lot of tools in it most of the time. So this here light, I'll drill these out and I'll show you the finished product on it. And once again, using this Dynaflex, um, we're doing this on the cheap. So these are about $12, $14 for a set of two. They do last a long time. I have these on a boat trailer that has seen being submerged. I did caulk them up, but numerous times. Still good. So uh, we have a box. We're going to be putting two on each side and have one spare that we'll leave in the trailer in case it needs to be replaced. And the cool thing is, is the base can remain and this that part there is all you replace. What's also good is that these don't have a driver. So you see there's no driver involved in it, no electronics. These are just what they are. They are just LED. So four or five burnout, you still got legal tail lights. That's what's cool. All right, I'll get this finished and I'll show you them on the back and how it looks. And you guys can pick up a set of these and do what I'm doing and it just comes out nice. All right, guys, now we've got the tail lights mounted on and the wiring, hey, like that, that's off of that little go light. And the wiring is still to be finished, but the wiring's coming through and we're securing our running lights. All right, let's get these lights on next and we're gonna show you what they look like and how bright they are in conjunction to all this and I'll even turn the lights out in the shop. Um, you see me show you the tail lights. Now what I did is I went in and put in some new fresh boards in the back and we have used these terminals here and additional ground wires. Uh, it's always good to wire extra grounds. Um, there's these cool boxes I use. I got a whole bunch of these, y'all like that. And um, the lighting system on here is now complete. We're going to have a service panel inside the RV for this because we'll be using these strips here. If y'all curious about where I get these at, I'll put a link to them too. Um, everything I use in here, I'll put links down too. And a lot of times that just helps you guys kind of figure out, you know, a, either a parts list or you get a, a visual idea of what I'm working with when I build this stuff. So 
um, makes it easier. You know, I go in there and I shop visually. A lot of things just ha get ideas, and that's what I'll show you here. So I get this, these nice boxes where you can bulk order all of these, but currently we're just rigged up for power, and let me show you what we got. Now, this trailer didn't come with lights out here or up here. It did come with the brim up here, so we're now powered, and we're using an old, I don't know, 15-year-old battery I restored, and we're going to check all the wiring out. So we've got the ground clamped off onto the frame, and here's what it looks like going down. The tail lights that you saw there in the beginning, here they are. Now this is the running light function right now, just the dim function. And I'm gonna have Kira here in just a second run the wires on the other. So um, up here on the top, you'll look at the other video I show making these, installing these. They are really awesome. And all these lights here, they use a really odd cob, C-O-B. Now, what I've got here in my lights is these white ones, these are the white ones, and they mount perfect in these fixtures. Perfect. And if they don't go in the first time, you spin them and put them in because they are polarized. They have to have the correct. Same way with these. This is that little cob, and it is already a beige color. That's already kind of an amber beige color coming out of this cob. Uh, kind of a good warm white. So I use these in those. These have about a 10 year lifespan and they've been around about eight or 10 years and so far nobody has to hardly ever replace these. These will last about five to seven years of constant use. Now, up here in the front, we're still working on the rest of the framing, but all that's new. These lights didn't exist in these locations. What we had up in this location was a strobe and it wasn't even wired for what you're seeing now. Why the hell? I know it's built in Canada, so you can just imagine a trailer built in Canada, how some of the regulations and rules are. All right, we're gonna get these lights back here in the back, and I'm gonna have Kira run the batteries up here, uh, run the wiring on it, so that she's gonna be able to get a hold to the wires that will be the left and the right, and then we'll check them. You'll see how much brighter and dimmer they get. Now, the lights in the shop are on. And you can see how nice and lit these are. So let me get a get a setup for the wiring here. Okay, now Kira is back here with the wiring, and she is going to be doing the uh, the wiring on it. Now, in this case, the red one is the right side. That's that side of the trailer over there. The yellow is the left side, and if you're facing the trailer from behind, and the white wire is the uh, the backup light. So we will start with the red wire, which is the right side, and she's gonna go up and flash that when I tell her to. And I can probably turn off one of the extra shop lights. Okay, Kira, right side. All right, left side. Okay, backup light. That's a bright backup light. All right, so um, Kira, now take the red and the yellow and put them together and hold them on the power for brake lights. Put both of them together on power. That's pretty bright, isn't it? So that right there, go ahead and let go. That is these. Now I get these sets for 12 bucks, like I said in the beginning of the video. I'll put a link down there to them. These come from AliExpress. They sometimes have them at eBay, but uh, I get real shiny ones at AliExpress. They're not messed up. eBay seems like they put them in a warehouse somewhere. But there they are. In here is that really nice little white one. And these really stick. That really nice little white light. Well, you can see that. Look at that thing, how bright that is. Shining through my finger. That's incredible, isn't it? The cool thing about those lights is go ahead and disconnect the clip to the battery on the positive side, Kara. All right, so the cool thing is, is that those little bulbs, this bulb here pulls 0.78 amps, 0.78. Now, this bulb pulls 0.16, and you've seen how bright that was. That was massive. This bulb pulls 0.19. So this one here is 0.19 
0.16 or 0.17, depends on which brand you get. And these pull damn near a whole amp. So if you're thinking about how you're hooking this up and the fact that this did exist, this did not exist, that didn't exist, this didn't exist, that was, I don't know, it was a, it was a blue strobe. It, it was strobed. It had a, had a circuit in it and power, but it was not part of the wiring of the whole trailer. That one did not exist. So all of these lights that have been put on here with the LEDs actually use less than half the power the old lights used with the incandescence, the T10 incandescence. So, and these burn out all the time. You guys know that. So you can buy a pack of these bulbs, five of them at a time for about 250, or you can get a pack of these bulbs, 10 for about 250 to $3. There you go. And these are a little more expensive, but they last forever. They don't ever go bad and they don't oxidize. They got some kind of a special coating on them. All right, guys, there you go. Get rid of the incandescent, go LED. And that's a simple wiring job. Didn't take a whole lot of effort. It's finished and it looks good. You can look at it for yourself. I'll turn the light out in the shop. So this is the trailer. Very attractive, very nice. Keeps people from running into you. And the outcome is quite a nice one.